my brother Matt. My name is Nick Jackson, and you are watching the No Gimmicks Podcast. Well, you're, li you're listening to the No Gimmicks. Well, you're listening. <laughs> it's a podcast. You listen to it. Yeah, you get Boom. the point. Too sweet, man. Boom! Boom. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Todd Smith, here once again, alongside my tag team partner, Dell Clifford, out there in Fernley, Nevada. Welcome to yet another episode of No Gimmicks Podcast, broadcasting on the 3 and Out Radio Network. Dell, what's good, my man? What it uh, is up? It is NOLO weekend, and uh, all of the eyes uh, in professional wrestling are on New Orleans and the many, many events that are going on, and... We're just going to cover one other one, and that's uh, Ring of Honor's Super Card of Honor as we uh, continue just to uh, do our predictions for kind of three of the big events. There's so many going on, but we, we kind of uh, chose a couple, and uh, ROH's uh, Super Card is one of them. Yes, sir, indeed. There are a ton of shows, and shout-outs to our guys, uh, Brian BQ Quillones, and also um, one Mr. Brian Zane for Wrestling with Regrets. He's down there, too, this week, so representing um, us YouTubers um, welcome to our episode of the Don't Give Us Podcast here, where we're going to predict ROH Supercard of Honor 12. So, Dale, in the first match here, we've got Chucky T taking on Jonathan Gresham. Who do you have in this one? Oh, this is a tough one. Um, I'm just going to go uh, oh, uh, Chucky T. is like, let's give him a chance to kind of a breakout away from a uh, tag team action that he's uh, recently been in. So. I okay. think it's going to be a good moment for him to shine as a singles competitor. Yeah, it would be um, a breath of fresh air for him because he seems to thrive more when he's um, in the tag team, you know, the best friends there with uh, with Trent. But I'm going to go the opposite direction with this one. I'm going to give the victory to Jonathan Gresham. I think he could use this momentum here and possibly uh, work his way up the reins there in ROH. Uh, moving on to our next match from ROH, uh, Super Cutter of Honor 12, we have Kota Ibushi taking on Adam Page. Is it going to be the Hangman or is it going to be um, Kota Ibushi? Oh, I got to go uh, Kota Ibushi here. Um, the standout uh, from uh, WWE, the Cruiserweight Classic, was one of the guys I wish WWE would have signed. He has one of the best uh, moonsaults in professional wrestling. The dude is just an absolute peer athlete. I think most will say that uh, he's probably the top Japanese guy going right now. Yes, it's tough to argue. It's either him or, um, or Okada. One of those two. Yeah. Those guys are kind of like, I would say, like one and one A. Yes, definitely at the top of their game. And for the almost the exact same reasons you did, I'm going with Kota Ibushi exactly on this one. I think Adam Page is a strong competitor. I just think that, you know, he blends in more, I think, and does a little bit better when he's kind of paired up with the Young Butts as part of Hung Butts. So, yeah, I think um, Kota Ibushi definitely walks away with the W in this one here. So um, our next match from Supercard of Honor 12, Dale, we have Tomoharo Ishii taking on Punishment Martinez. Who do you have in this one? I got to go uh, Punishment Martinez. I like you, Ishii, but it's just kind of one of those things. That this is an ROH show. Again, it's, it's tough to kind of predict um, the New Japan guys that come over and have them win on an ROH show. It does happen. But I kind of just feel like this is also would be a nice, big, huge win for Punishment Martinez, too. Yes, and he's actually been racking up a number of victories um, lately, including on one recent one on one of our guests that we had here in the No Games podcast. He took on Shane Taylor on this past week's um, episode of ROH TV. Yes, he picked big Shane Taylor up and actually took him south of heaven. This guy is a monster. I've got the opportunity to see him in real life. This dude is no joke about legit six foot seven and can high fly it cracks me up because of the fact that he wears those red leather pants he has like the long dark hair people joke and actually start chanting nakamura and whatnot and i'm telling you man don't get me wrong i'm a fan of nakamura but this guy man the stuff that he can do for his size is just absolutely amazing that would be the reason he'll come out on top on this one so now the next one here for the women of honor tournament finals so dale um first off give me your idea who, as to who you predict will actually make it to the finals and then your eventual winner I think it's going to be uh, Kelly Klein versus Tennille Dashwood, uh, uh, also uh, formerly known as uh, Emma. Um, I just think uh, on in terms of the American audience, that's kind of the two names that are, are going to uh, stand out there. Um, Kelly Klein's been a part of uh, Women of Honor for a while, um, so it would kind of be nice to see uh, kind of one that's kind of 
a woman that's been more of a mainstay win, but I think it's going to be Tennille. It's like she's got the, the real big name value coming from WWE, and this would be a nice uh, little capper for her to basically be able to show WWE, yes, I can be a women's champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's telling it, no doubt, but whoa, she is no gatekeeper, boy. Kelly Klein is one of the toughest female competitors in all of professional wrestling, and she's well-seasoned, you know, at, just as you said, Dale, and she's competed overseas and whatnot. I think the great way for her to cap off, you know, her recent um, string of victories is by winning the championship here and becoming the first woman of honor champion. So, yeah, I'm going to go for uh, Kelly Klein to win over to Neil Dashwood this weekend here. So now in the next one, it's kind of a battle of a war of attrition here. Both leaders of the Bullet Club, you know, at one point in time, Cody or Kenny Omega, which side are you on, Dale? I am Team Cody. So that's kind of where I'm going to go. Was I um, obviously was a Kenny Omega fan when he was in Ring of Honor. Haven't seen too much uh, from him in New, in New Japan. Is like I, I just a little bit more of a history watching Cody and obviously the family lineage that he has with Dusty and then his brother Goldust. Obviously, I've always been a huge uh, Cody Rhodes fan. Um, I have I don't have any Kenny Omega Bullet Club merchandise. I have a Cody Rhodes Bullet Club T-shirt, so I think that basically is my answer. It's it's, it's got to be Cody. You know, it's funny because I totally dug Kenny Omega as the cleaner. I mean, he just had kind of a badass, almost like I want to say like a super villain from a video game type of persona. He's lost a bit of that mystique recently, though, now that he's um, a part of Golden Lovers with uh, Kota Ibushi. I'm actually going to go with Team Cody in this one as well, too, here. And I have to say I lean in favor of Cody because of a recent experience I had with him at a Northeast Wrestling Show. Cool guy, you know, gave us a couple minutes of his time, you know, for the No Games podcast. So, Cody, we're rooting for you on this one. One sweet. So now for our next match here from ROH Supercar of Honor 12, we have Kenny King, who is the ROH television champion, taking on the last real man, Silas Young, for the ROH championship in a last man standing match. Dale, who's going to be the last man standing? The last real man has to be the last man standing, and I think it's time Silas Young gets a championship belt. So I'm going Silas Young. I'm going Silas as well here too. Um, and also, you just have to ask, at what point during that match do those two bohemians that he has backing him up, the Beer City Bruiser and Brian Malonis, get involved in this as well? So Kenny's kind of got the stack, the debt stacked against him here, and he doesn't have the same kind of backup that Silas says. Yeah, it's, it's Silas's time. So um, that's who I'm going with in this one. So now this one here is going to be probably the, the match of the night here. We have a six-man tag here for the, uh, the world six-man tag titles of ROH. SoCal Uncensored. Scorpio Sky, uh, Kaz, and also um, Christopher Daniels taking on Matt and Nick Jackson and Flip Gordon? Question mark? Dale, what's your thoughts on this unique pairing up against SoCal Uncensored? I don't know. It's like, obviously, uh, my heart tells me Flip Gordon and the Young Bucks. Those are the three guys I like, but it just, the, the, the pairing to be a champion doesn't make any sense. Um, because obviously the six man tag pairing is the hung bucks, but Adam Page is big, busy with Koto Ibushi. I just think this is a, a, a match that's going to allow the young bucks and Flip Gordon to obviously again steal the show like they always do. But I think SoCal Uncensored, uh, Uncensored is going to win. Yeah. If you follow the series, um, Being the Elite, which the uh, the young bucks have there on their YouTube channel, yeah, it's it's quite an interesting one to check out. It's got some funny moments and whatnot. They've just been hazing the hell out of um out of Flip Gordon over the course of the series. So he was a bit hesitant to forge this alliance with the Young Bucks. So when they finally stuck, you know, shook out, stuck out their hand and shake his hand, and he actually finally shook their hands, it was just like, wow, this is actually happening, huh? We're gonna get a non-member of the Bullet Club teaming up with these guys. But with all that being said, yeah, the formidable team of SoCal Uncensored, they are gonna walk out as the six man tag champs at the end of the night here. But that will be an amazing match to check out. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, our next match here for the ROH Tag Championships. We have the Briscoes taking on Jay Leto and Hiroshi Tanahashi. Dale, what's your thoughts on this one? Oh, uh, I like Lethal as a uh, singles guy. Um, so I'm going to go uh, with the uh, Briscoes here. Yeah, this kind of carries on the theme of the night. I'm seeing a lot of matches where... The outcomes are going to be predictable, I think, for the most part. But we're going to get some damn good matches here this night. 
And for the same reasons as you, the Briscoes are the more established tag team. Those guys literally have been there since the beginning of the company. When they first started, I want to say it was back around, I think, like 2002, I think it was. Yeah, that sounds about right, because they started around the same time the TNA did. Yeah, they are mainstays. They recently captured the uh, the championships, and I don't see them letting go anytime soon, especially against um, an unusual pairing of Jay Lito and uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi. So, yeah, they're, they're my pick for this match here. So now for the main event for ROH Super Card of Honor 12, Dell, we have got Dalton Castle taking on Marty Skrull, the villain. Who do you have coming on top? Oh, this is a tough one. My uh, my heart wants uh, Marty Skrull, but the problem is I just don't see how him being a member of the Bullet Club could hold the ROH world title and have Cody be the leader of the Bullet Club. Uh-huh. So. Uh-huh. Um, it's like that's what it was like. My heart wants Marty Skrull. I don't think it's gonna happen, but I. But again, um, so ultimately, I think Dalton's gonna win. It was like my heart wants Marty Skrull, though. I am on the same wavelength with you on this one, my friend. However, I must say the ROH they believe in Dalton Castle as their champion. I seriously have reasons to believe that when he won the title at uh, Manham Mayhem earlier this year, I said, I said this is a transitional champion right here. I said, there's no way that that guy keeps the belt on him any longer, maybe for about a month. And here we are here in April, and he still has that title. And I almost kind of seen the boys, they're developing, you know, into more of a stronger tag team. Eventually, I think they're going to kind of go off on their own, away from Dalton Castle. And Dalton's going to just be doing his own thing. And I think he's going to hold on to that belt, you know, maybe for a, a few more months, possibly. I wouldn't be surprised if he maybe doesn't even drop until final battle towards the end of this year. So, yeah, so I think Dalton's going to um, continue his reign as ROA champion over the villain Marty's girl. Marty will be your chance here in the, in the not-too-distant future, though, I must say. Um, one thing is for sure, we sure could sit up here and talk about our OH Super Card of Honor 12 all night long, but we have come to this end of this episode of No Games Podcast. Thank you for joining us for our predictions where we used our heart or our gut to pick the winners from our OH Super, Super Card of Honor 12. We are No Gimmicks. No image, all wrestling all the time. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share our videos. No gimmicks. Yeah. No gimmicks, taking over, no limits Motivation, the truth inside Everything you are hearing, for and live Know you feel it, wrestling is Everything that we will know, a special meaning We on it live with no gimmicks 